yards down the field. That's what the Badgers do. Horny Brook to throw on first down. Well protected by that offensive line. Gets one to midfield. Just about an offensive lineman. Here's Jonathan Taylor. Tripped up. It'll be third down and long. Wisconsin doesn't see off at third down and long. And pressure on Hornybrook and a tipped ball. What a start for BYU. Anthony Lottie, that is an NFL looking punt to Michael Shelton. And he's going to let it drop. And it will take the perfect top for Wisconsin. BYU jumps on top of it. Jet sweep. Hifo gets to the sideline. Aleba Hifo is able to move the chains. Again, the jet sweep action to Hifo. And a pretty good pickup on redshirt freshman. Pressure on Mangum, and down he goes. Another end around, and this one's going nowhere. Dax Milne. Now it's Garrett Groshek to the left of Hornybrook in the shotgun on third and down. Hornybrook on time to the sideline. Jake Ferguson breaks a tackle, drags tacklers. He's on the sideline. It is deal. Into the end zone. A Wisconsin touchdown. Play action. Hang him on a rollout. Checks it down to Hifo. In Squally Canada finds a crease into the secondary. An extra gear for Squally Canada. All the way down inside the 30-yard line. Up. I was saying they've lacked the explosive play coming into the first two games. There's a receiver with a 13-yard rush. Squally's longest just nine yards the first two weeks. Beautifully blocked. And then in one-on-one -on -one situations, you have got to beat that safety. Just enough of Edwards, the middle linebacker, and that's the one-on-one. -on -one. That Had a chance to visit with her last night, and she is... A terrific lady. Tanner Mangum on a rollout. Zips one to the sideline. Coming back to help out his court. Looking for some room inside the 10 goes Riley Burt. Down inside the five yard. Squally Canada up the middle. Moving the pile at the goal line. That is a BYU touchdown. So the Cougars answer right back. Jonathan Taylor, first down. It's fall in line with. They pick up the stunt this time, and Hornybrook has all day. Right at the first down marker, but running his route just a little too shallow. Diva, a color commentator, not happy at all with the temperatures. As Aleva Hifo, speed to the edge, and that's the game plan, it seems. Here's Squally Canada. Breaks the tackle. Strong run from Squally Canada to pick. We talked to her about Squally yesterday. Just beaming with pride as Mangum will dump it down. Lopini Katoa is brought down. Another tackle broken. Could be a good screen, screen down in distance. Mangum well protected. Floats one to the sideline. Coming free. Wide open. Corner. This is a nice route by Talon. He sets up that in breaking route and puts his foot in the ground and leaves enough room to the side. Squally Canada moves the pile across the 50 outside of between the 20s. Empty backfield on third down. Four man rush. Manga wide open on the slant. Easy pitch and catch for the first down to. Katoa, true freshman. Good run on first down. A gate of Who's going to at least create some tighter windows for Dwayne Haskins to throw into. They have made it look so easy. Ohio State has offensively. It would be a tougher challenge, but man, are they loaded with speed everywhere. That's a backwards pass. It's a trick play. It is set up wide open into the end zone. Laulu Patuto got by the defense. And the tight end score. See on the field that this is thrown behind the line of scrimmage, but you know when it is, boy, this double pass is wide open. And I talk about the inexperience in that secondary. Look at the eyes. They totally lost all eye discipline. And that's about as easy a throw and catch as you're going to have seen grades so far, certainly compared to last year. Play action for Hornybrook. 
Takes the check down. And Jonathan Taylor takes the physical ball. Taylor corralled behind the line again. It's four-man rush. Horny Brook flushed to his left. The pursuit coming. Gets tripped up. Almost threw an interception right into the arms of Taki Taki. The tackle box, but the ball didn't get back to the line of scrimmage when he hit Taki Taki. Well, the ball is going to get batted by a defender. So is there a judgment there that the ball was not going? Yeah, I'm from, I'm from Jersey. Brock from Seattle. Neither of us have any idea what you're talking about. Squally Canada able to get back on the field. Mangum is able to complete one to Dylan Colley. Colley finds a lane. The end around works again beautifully for BYU. It's different runners for 111 total yards. And there's Hifo again. He's got another jet sweep lane. Once again, right guard here, Tristan Hodge. Look at the difference he makes. I mean, look at that lane that he's running through. Big Tristan, Tristan and Austin Hoyt. These are veteran guys. Big guys, big strong guys. We highlight the Badgers on the other side. Petition last year, they looked overmatched. Here's Mangum, well protected. He's going to go deep. Underthrown a bit, but drops it in. Dallin Holker, the tight end, all the way down. Well, against an inexperienced redshirt freshman, look at the little push off. Right, that little subtle move right at the end of the route. We have seen BYU use their eyes from a number of different positions. The pass was incomplete. Wobbly pass caught by Dylan Colley. Now what do you do if you're BYU? Wide right. For the Badgers when we come back. Horny Brook slants one. A.J. Taylor has a first down for Wisconsin. Getting loose is Danny Davis. Very it wasn't even close to the line to gain. They almost gave him a half yard too much even after. Move the chains. Taylor up the middle. He's got the first down. A jet sweep for Kendrick Pryor. He's inside the 15, all the way down inside the five-yard line. And off to the fullback, Alec Ingold. Is he in? Yes! A Wisconsin touchdown. Saban's had before. How aggressive does BYU get as they start with Katoa, the true freshman, looking for a cutback lane with a flag down. Holding by number 32. And BYU takes the clock all the way down. Smart. 52 seconds when they snap it. Katoa. And I would think Wisconsin would call timeout. Going to take a 14-14 tie to the locker room. Katoa bottled up, and that will take us to halftime. He knew they were going to see today here at Wisconsin. Play action for Tanner Mangan to start off the second half. Side arms one to the sideline. Turning up field is Dylan Colley of the third quarter. Wisconsin shows blitz. Here they come. Mangum out of the pocket, keeps the play alive, heaves one downfield, broken up by Dakota Dixon. And in their futures. Four-man rush, Hornybrook well protected, long throw intercepted, it's picked off by Anderson. Zane Anderson jumps the route. And you know, he got beat early on an out route, actually gets beat a little bit again, but a late throw there by Hornybrook, just a tick late. If you're going to throw that out route into the short side of the field, you have to throw it with anticipation. He did not. And give the former safety now turn linebacker credit. The guy's been all over the field. He Squally Canada. Down to the 21-yard line. You capitalize. Mango, quick hitter, out to the edge. Hifo makes the catch, makes a spin. He's inside the five. With Wisconsin corners, you're used to seeing. Look how conservative that is. That's eight yards of cushion down here in the red zone where you got that goal line as an extra defender. The sidelines. Roll out for Mango. Sidearms one back of the end zone. The toe tap is done, but it's a Another excellent job. Yeah, and that right toe is just out of bounds. Another act. Squally Canada 
Lowers the boom into the end zone. BYU, they've got the lead back. The second touchdown rushing this afternoon for Squally Canada. Hornybrook well protected. Fires a strike. Only a three-man rush. It's a check down to Groshek. Can he get to the sticks? Fights his way within a half yard. Jonathan Taylor right up the middle. First down. Top of it. Deal. I don't think he's going to get there. Second effort. Is he short? At least a fourth and short conversions. And now a false start on Wisconsin. Too far to kick a field goal. Too close to punt. Hornybrook over the middle. Incomplete. BYU gets a stop. Mangum rolls out. Down the sideline, under throw, knocked away. He plays on a football team. Eric Groshek gets outside. Great balance. Stays in bounds. Groshek down the sideline. A big play to the 50. Four man rush. Hornybrook. He's got Ferguson once again. It's time they give it to Deal. He's into the end zone for a touchdown. Oh, God, this smells terrible. Squally Canada. He's in the open field. Off to the races goes Canada. They were all set to come back on camera to us. With Well, he's got a little juice in his legs here in the fourth quarter. That's awesome, man. That, once again, is the right side of that BYU offensive line. That's Hodge. That's Hoyt. That's two grown men on under center. Little late break in the huddle, BYU. And then back to throw. Fires one. Up the seam, and it's complete. Boy, right on the chest. Mangum flips one. It is caught. Lualu Patu. Here comes the Wisconsin Blitz. Mangum heaves one to the sideline, and it's incomplete. And the field goal is good. And then really lives for these final 10 minutes. Jonathan Taylor had a lot more success running the right side the last drive this time. Orny Brook, long throw to the sideline, finds Kendrick Pryor. Orny Brook, under pressure, the pocket collapses, and there's the sack. Zach Daw goal, but D lineman certainly can use those hands, and Zach Daw does just that. Didn't bouncing off blockers and tacklers, just enough. Four man rush. Mangum throws it away. That stops the clock again. The Mangum's looking to, and as you can see, when he goes to throw, there's really nobody. He's not going to make that long throw across the field. It was going to either be slant routes or out route. Almond gets away a wobbly kick. Jack Dunn's going to let it bounce. And this takes the perfect BYU hop. Out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. First starting field position of the day. Hornybrook from the goal line. Looks to check one down to Taylor. Has to leap to make the catch. And the ESPN app. Hornybrook after the injury timeout. Another throw underneath to Jonathan Taylor. In space, Taylor. Close to a first over there, everything in front of him. Horny Brook wants a chunk here, and he's got it with AJ Taylor. They want to get to at least the 30 yard line. Of course, Horny Brook's thinking touchdown, that might win it. Here he's thinking avoid the sack. He gets loose, gets away from Taki Taki. Horny Brook down to the 26. Horny Brook out of the pocket again. Stays behind the line, heaves one towards the back of the end zone. And it's incomplete, no chance for it. Horny Brook, up the seam, incomplete. 42 yards for the tie. And BYU will spend one of those timeouts BYU here. Calls their first time out of the He's going to call another one here. He's just playing for overtime. They're just going to try and make Gaglianoni think about this kick for as long as possible. So he's not even looking nope. at the last 41 seconds. I know. Here, he's standing right next to the official. He's going to let it go. 
The play gets off. It's heading left. No good. Those timeouts paid the exact dividends that Kalani Satake thought they might if he called all of the timeouts and let Gaglianoni think about it. Perfect snap, perfect hold. The senior that has been so good over his career, you saw him pat his chest and say, my bad, my bad in the biggest moment. And look at Satake. He, he has felt the weight. There is no question. The Prites, former fullback, love collisions. And he loved this 60 minutes of football. This is who they want to be. They want to be Wisconsin one day. They want to be big, strong, physical. They want to be able to throw haymakers with anybody in the country and to come into Madison against this squad, against this offensive line, and to get it done. I'd say they passed this test. Brock calling their opener last year when they couldn't get across the 50-yard line against LSU and then watching the tape of their game against Wisconsin last year. Could you have imagined 12 months later You'd see a BYU team that could go out and physically match up for 60 full minutes with that.